We now have our save and our load uh, data functions, so I'm going to demonstrate that very quickly. I'm going to put in some data first. All right, so I just entered in four movements of a second each, forward, backwards, left, and right. So now we're going to talk, save that information. And you can see file saved with four entries. And now we're going to tell it to load that information. So that's menu item three. And now it says file has been loaded with four entries. Now we can go to our execute like we did before. And it'll tell us here's the movements that are going to be displayed on the robot. Um, I'm not going to execute that right now because the previous videos showed the servos. Let me just go ahead and show you some things in the code. Uh, there's so much to go over. I'm, I, there's no way I can get it all in here. Uh, this stuff here in the comments that's been commented out is about the webhooks. Uh, I'm still working on that. Yet to be successful. Uh, here we're handling some pins on the machine. This just turns on pins, tells them how to behave as inputs and outputs. We create our servos, uh, our servo objects, I should say. Set the frequency, what pins the servos are on, the ranges that they're going to run. Uh, here's our user interface. This is sort of the, the one of the main modules that runs the whole time is our interface. Uh, here's our menu system. That's been set up as a function. Easy to change, add things. Just a clean way to do our menus. Uh, and then here's all our options. Those are all individual functions. Options 1, 2, 3, etc. And they all do different things. Uh, basically, we're working with two lists here. We're appending the lists in that list. Uh, one of them holds the command, like is it going forward or backwards or whatever. And the duration is for how long. And so this is all of our menu items. This has already been... Uh, demonstrated on what to do. Um, here's where the servos are actually moving. So we're going forward, we're telling it to go forward and for how long, and that's all a function of the data that's been saved in the list. So that's our actual movements, those functions. And this is what actually then uh, moves it. The first thing we do is make sure that um, we relay is off until the user is confirmed that they actually want to move the robot. We initialize, we double check again, we display all the data in which it's going to move. And if they do anything that's not uh, confirming, uh, just aborts and ex exits the system. That's all for safety. Um, let's see, this is, uh, what else here? Okay, and this is how our menu actually is, is operating. It's just a while loop. All it doesn't equal zero, we just continue around and around and around. Uh, splash screen, this is, this is just kind of fun. Uh, the splash screen stuff is a, a um, a library that that I used with this display right here and you can print numbers it's a really inexpensive display you can sort of print characters it doesn't come out very nicely on some of the characters but I've uh, commented out a lot of the splash screen stuff for, for testing but uh, when I'm done it'll boot up and it'll display some nice stuff on the screen this is our network uh, connection this is what gets us on the internet uh, this is all code that just comes right out of the MicroPython uh, what do you call it, uh, the documentation. Here's our interrupt. Uh, this is kind of new. I mean, I knew about them, but I never implemented them. Uh, I found this information on Adafruit's website, and that is how this switch is tied into shutting down this relay. If at any time when our program is executing, no matter what's going on, uh, if that interrupt is triggered, in other words, that somebody smacks that big red button, it'll shut off the power. And that's just a safety thing. That's how it's handled in software. Uh, here's our main code, uh, which basically here's it just turns off the relay for the power. Um, we haven't done anything with the, the LED yet. Um, anyway, I'm running out of time to explain every little detail. Uh, that's pretty much the main code, though. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.